Michaela Slaney's commute from Quincy to Brookline was one lengthy ordeal. Every day was different. There was one day that I had to wait in line at um, Wollaston Station for an hour and a half outside in the snow. Every day she experimented to see which means of commuting would be the quickest. So some days I would be hours late and some days I would be hours early because I never really knew what was going to happen. On days when I took my car here uh, because there was snow uh, in the free spots in the back, I would have to pay $10 in meter fees just to park my car in the front and it meant that every two hours I would need to leave the office and go pay my meter fee. I'll be right back. I gotta pay my meter. Despite all the ups and downs, the optimist in Michaela looks forward to things being level again. It was frustrating, but I think in the end we could laugh about it. Dentist Chewy's clinic can't open without her employees, and they can't get into work without the MBTA. She had to really go out of her way. And I have to drive my employees here. On his day off, the dentist has been spent hours waiting to pick up employees from different spots in the city. But gas isn't the only extra expense this season. Patients have been dwindling and paychecks still need to be sent out. Some of my employees pay by hours, yes, they lose, lose uh, money. But some of them, I pay them a yearly salary, then I am the one losing the money. And that's why we have to work really hard the, the other months and to make it up. At Abbott's, a frozen custard parlor in Brighton, the cups remain stacked high as business hit a new low. We had to close for several days um, and there wasn't as much foot traffic here. The store is doing all it can to crunch their costs. My part-time employees I've had to cut down dramatically and then I try to fill in the rest of the hours. Our heat as low as we can. We do all the small things that we can do, but uh, in the wintertime, we generally run on a pretty tight budget. Of the seven winters that Mary Pat has kept her store running, by far this has definitely been the worst winter yet. And because Mary Pat's manager is indispensable to her, I've had to pay for Ubers for her and different modes of transportation. She echoes Michaela Slaney's sentiments on the parking situation. The roads, the plowing has not been terrific for parking, so it's been just very difficult trying to find a place to park. A couple months can really hurt you. We're not like a big business that has a lot of money behind them. We're, you know, a simply owned business. So. Business is getting brighter as the skies clear up. For BUTV 10, I'm Nikita Sampat.